do not throw away your colored green stock anymore because from this stock you can get thousands of seeds that you can plant over and over and over again so that you don't need to go to the store to buy another colored green ever again if you follow this method that i'm going to show you so thank you guys for clicking on this video make sure you watch to the end of this video because i'm going to show you a trick that you have to know okay to save you a lot of money from buying uh, colored greens from the store so here i have my colored green that i bought from the store and as you can see on this video i am uh, i am uh, taking out removing the the leaves from the stem so because I'm going to use the leaves to cook my vegetable soup vegetable soup vegetable soup <laughs> okay whatever I'm gonna use it to cook some soup okay so I am removing the leaves cutting out the leaves from the stem so you can observe that I did not cut the stem I was just pulling the leaves off from the stem so that's what you want to do so here I have two stalks that I'm going to um, plant okay so yes this is it two stalks that I'm going to put on the ground and I'm going to plant it so keep watching I'll show you what you need to know okay <laughs> so yes this is the leaves that I'm like I said I'm going to use this for my vegetable soup if you haven't watched my video on how to make a vegetable soup I have a video on how you can cook your healthy vegetable soup it is very healthy and very very simple to make so guys here I am out here in my garden with my shovel so you just want to go ahead and dig just a little hole not too deep not deep just a, just make a little hole okay on the ground or if you have a pot you can use your pots and pour some topsoil and then you you know just dig a little um, hole like this and and then you put the stem the stalk in the ground as you can see me do so i didn't throw it away you see because we're going to use it to have more 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 of these colored green and i am breaking down the the sand that is um um what is it called um i don't know so i'm just breaking down the sound so that it can be in smaller particles and i am digging out another hole for the second stem that i am equally going to plant the same way that i did the the first stock the first stem so yeah go ahead and do that and then you pour some sand uh to fill up the hole that you made okay just uh, fill it up with some sand and you water it this is very important because you know the uh, the the ground is dry so you want to give it moisture this is going to help with the planting it's going to help the plants to grow fast and so it doesn't die because if you do not water your plants you know what's going to happen it's just like staying for more days and you don't eat and no it's not going to work out fine so you want to water it like uh twice in a week so after um much watering and all of that taking care of my plants this is the colored green you can see it has flowers so from from these flowers we're gonna have seeds you can see how beautiful the vegetable is so yes after about three months i left it for about three months i had cut the bigger leaves um and used it for my vegetables so for my soup so i left it for about three months and after three months here it has a lot of seeds from the flowers that you saw it now turned to to seeds it it produced some seeds from the flowers so yes these i left it for 
three months like I said and you can see that the seeds are dry you want it to be really really dry because if it's not dry it's not going to survive for I mean if you cut it fresh the fresh seeds like that no it's not going to work out when you plant it it's not going to grow so you have to leave it till it's dry okay like this like this let it be dry um like this before you can cut it out okay this is what we want So I planted other th other vegetables on the same bed and these big leaves are cucumbers, cucumber leaves. The big leaves that you, you're seeing right here is cucumber leaves because I added other vegetables like tomatoes or uh, potatoes to the same bed that I planted this colored green. So I had to um, put this, uh, put up this stick for the colored green, uh, you know, for the s seeds, the flowers to coil, coil on it. So that's why you see all these dry sticks up here, uh, because I had to uh, put it up for the, both the cucumbers and the colored greens because they were just sprawling everywhere. So I needed to control it with the stick is going to control you know the way they sprawl they sprawl uh, around yeah so it, this is how the dry seeds uh look like this is what they look like this is what they look like you can see the colored greens on the floor on the ground and then some seeds are dry some are fresh but this is the I'm gonna show you the fresh one this is a dry one I just wanted to look at the see what I'm talking about so from this you're gonna get a you're gonna get tons and tons of colored greens and you don't have to ever go to the um, store again to buy some colored greens to plant so when you bring Break the seed, uh, the board like this. When you break it like this, as you can see, you see those tiny seeds. That is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. You see those tiny seeds, the tiny black seeds. Yes, these are the seeds that we that's gonna produce colored green plants when you plant you just put it on the floor on the ground and you pour some water like the other one the stock same uh, method so this is the fresh ones with this one this one cannot grow because you have to let it be dry before you can now put it in the ground for it to grow this is fresh if you put it in the ground plant it like this it's gonna decay it's gonna decay in the in the ground so it's better you let it become this these are all the um, dry colored green seeds that I harvested these they were much you do know they were more than this but you know I had to cut just this I still have some um, but I harvested this from just one stand of the colored green not both stands just one stand of it so you can see I am cutting it into my ziplock bag you need a ziplock bag to preserve it so you cut it like that you take your time cut it gently you have to be gentle with it because it's very fragile because it's dry you know uh, my kids were you know playing around so they they broke a lot of it because you know you just squeeze it with your hand and then boom the seeds will come out of the bud okay so here i am i had to sit down on the floor with my kids because they were just oh my god they were everywhere see talking to them leave this place nope they just want to play around this looks like a toy to them but no 
this is not a toy this is serious business so i had to sit on the floor with them so that you know everybody will be in peace because they were sitting down there on the floor with me and then helping me out breaking those seats Whew. what am i gonna do take it all in <laughs> so guys yeah i'm just gonna cut the all the seats that you've seen on the floor right here into my ziploc bag and then i will show you i will show you what it looks like So these are all the seeds that were broken from the board so I'm gonna plant it I'm gonna sweep it then plant it or dig a hole like I did before and then put like three seeds in each hole three seeds in each hole you don't want to put all of these seeds in one hole because it's gonna you know there's not gonna be any space for them to um, it's gonna be too congested so yes this is what my son did this is his handwork okay help him helping mommy out so yes guys this is all the seeds that i got left so i'm gonna preserve these for next year planting uh, because i still have some dry ones that i'm gonna plant now this summer okay from these ones so thank you guys for watching use this method to preserve your seeds with this you don't have to buy colored greens every time every year to come plant just let it grow and then you cut the dry seeds let the seeds become dry and then you cut it like this and then you preserve it for next year planting thank you guys for watching